All right, so we're not even going to waste no time. We go and we just jump right into day two or night two, however you want to call it, of WrestleMania. So let's go. So the first match we have on the card, which was the opening match for night two, was Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship belt. And, bro, that match was so freaking good, bro. Like, the way that Drew McIntyre, like, came out the gate just hit the claymore right when they first ring the bell their entrances were so fire seth rollins was a little you know a little wild look too crazy that was still fun to see and then drew mcintyre with the with the sword and fire and all that that was that was pretty cool this match was so like they just they just kept hitting finishes on each other like they kept doing a stomp they kept doing a claymore they kept doing a future shock they kept doing a pedigree like bro it was absolutely insane and i forgot to mention cm punk was actually out there as well he was just making it a lot better you know and like it was already super good the match was super good but with cm punk on commentary made it so much better and drew mcintyre ended up winning the match but he was getting a little too cocky i don't know they did some good storytelling because he went up to cm punk started like just 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 rubbing it in his face that like, look i won the belt and I'm happy for Drew McIntyre because he got to actually win it in front of fans. But someone comes out, and it's that one tall Puerto Rican from Judgment Day named Damian Priest finally cashes in to secure the World Heavyweight Championship belt. And I was in shock that, like, Damian Priest actually, you know, successfully cashed in, bro. Because CM Punk whooped Drew McIntyre's ass. I forgot to say that. Drew McIntyre was got beat up by freaking CM Punk and CM Punk took off his little brace or whatever. He whooped them and then all you heard was the freaking Damian Priest song hit and then, you know, one, two, three, that was it. The Damian Priest is now your new world heavyweight champion. Really good first opening match. Like, bro, who else like forgot like Damian Priest had like, a money in the bank? Cause I kind of forgot about him, you know what I'm saying? But W match, I'm not gonna lie, that was a good match. So the next match we got is Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits versus AOP, that's what they're called. Yeah, AOP, I think it is, with uh, Karrion Cross and the other two freaking big dudes or whatever. That match was okay. It wasn't anything too crazy. Like, I didn't really care too much about it, but, you know. I was just happy Bobby Lashley was actually on the card, and Montez Ford actually showed out in this match, and he was like, he looked like a freaking star. Like, I, I really enjoyed what he did in that match. And what was pretty cool was the special guest referee was the... Uh, I forgot how to say his name. Bob Ray Dudley. Yeah, I think his name is. He was a special guest referee. And then, you know, he was just out there just having fun. He put the glasses on and all that. And, then, you know, that was pretty cool. I mean, I enjoyed it. It was, I mean, this match was all right. Like, there was, there was so much better matches. But this was this was still a, a good match compared to Jimmy versus Jey Uso. But Street Profits ended up winning that match. And, yeah, I don't know what's next for this this saga or story or whatever they got going on with this, but Bobby Lashley and Street Profits won. So, next match. So the next match we got was AJ Styles versus L. Hey, night, yeah. And from the jump, this match was freaking good. I like dare I say, this was LA Knight's like best match of all time in the WWE so far. Like he really showed out in this match. He pulled out, like, some new moves. I was like, whoa, what are you doing? Like, he did, like, the suplex on the top rope. Like, he threw AJ Styles and made him flip. And then he did, like, this DDT where he, like, a, what's it called? A springboard DDT or whatever. He jumped on the rope, did a DDT, and that was pretty cool. I didn't know he could do that. But, you know, he, he was pulling out crazy stuff. And then AJ Styles, you know him. He's just freaking good at his job. He just knows what he's doing. He can do whatever in the ring with anybody. So, AJ Styles, you know, he did phenomenal. No pun intended. Actually, that was pun intended. <laughs> no, LA Knight looked super, like, really, really good in this match. So, I was really happy that LA Knight was able to get the dub. The crowd was actually involved as well. Like, this was one of the louder matches with the crowd involved. Like, this is one of the good matches with the crowd. Because everybody was saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying, yeah, yeah. You know, it was super good. And not to mention, AJ Styles had a new theme song. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I don't really like it that much. But 
Hey man, he is a heel, so he has to, you know, he had to change the song. I still miss his old theme song so far. But, hey man, LA Knight won, won that match, and bro, I was highly satisfied with that match, bro. It was a really good match, but on to the next one. <laughs> Let go. Next match of the day, we got the triple threat match with. Kevin Owens, Randy Orton, and Logan Paul for the United States Championship belt. And, bro, this match was super good, bro. Like, this might be, like, one of the best triple threat matches of all time in WrestleMania, in my eyes, that I've ever witnessed. Because, man, I just love this match. This match was super fast-paced. You know, everybody was pulling out their best moves, you know. Kevin Owens came out with a golf cart in his entrance and then freaking he picked up Randy Orton in his entrance to take him to the golf cart like in the golf cart to hurry up and get to the ring to beat Logan's ass and Logan Logan Paul had a freaking prime bottle and then he shot like a cannon for the pyro or whatever and that was that was pretty cool but bro like the match itself was super good like they were it was a good story that they were telling. They were pretty much doing a handicap match against Logan Paul. And then, you know, Randy Orton, he eventually tries to be his, be the viper that he is and try to freaking RKO Kevin Owens. But Kevin Owens caught on. He's like, you really want to do this? And then Randy Orton's like, and then they just start going at it. That was, <laughs> bro, this was freaking fire, bro. This match was absolutely insane. And then we got this amazing spot with Logan coming out with the prime bottle. Ends up being speed. And then Randy Orton <laughs> starts whooping Speed's ass, and then he puts him on the announcement table, and he goes, Ur, 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 and then hits him with an RKO, and that was freaking beautiful. Speed actually sold that really good. And um, then also later on in the match, he comes in. They all hit a finish or whatever, right? Then Kevin Owens tries to do a pop-up powerbomb. Randy Orton, he counters it and turns it into an RKO. And I was like, are you fucking serious? What is going on? How is Randy like this cracked right now? But Logan, as being the heel that he is, he took advantage, took Randy Orton out the ring. One, two, three on Kevin Owens. Retains the USA Championship title. And, bro, so far, this is the match of the night for, for night two, like for me. Because this match was freaking beautiful. It was It was a really good match. Logan Paul, you know, doing his thing and once again showing why he belongs in the WWE. So good and so, like, supernatural at it, bro. But, yeah, man, everybody showed out in this match and Logan Paul retained, of course. So, next match. So, here we have Bailey versus EO Sky for the championship. And, bro, dare I say, this might have been the greatest women's match in WrestleMania history. Dare I say, because this match was so freaking good like i forgot how good eo sky was i like i totally forgot why she was the champion because she she pulled out everything in this match and she was looking freaking amazing it made me feel like she could have retained again to be honest with you but i knew barely we had to win this match but bro eo sky looked amazing bro like i forgot how good she is and she really showed out in this wrestlemania and then bailey you know she was fighting like a like in an old school type of way, still like so she was still doing her thing, but man, Eo Sky, I was super super impressed with what was going on in that match because all the reversals that was happening, like bro, they were doing a lot of crazy things as well, and Damage Control didn't even get involved in this match was, was that was pretty good, and pff, there was like one part in the match where freaking Bailey tries to hit her finisher and then Eo Sky counters, and I was like, oh okay. And then she does like a freaking spot where she does like almost three backflips. Like she almost does her freaking finisher three times with the backflip or whatever, right? And I was like, oh, what the freak is going on? Is she actually going to win? But, she, you know, Bailey actually counted, reversed that one. Because there was a lot of reverses. I, I liked all the reverses, all the freaking close counts in this match. This was super good. But I feel like this is one of the greatest women's, this is one of the greatest WrestleMania women's match of all time, to be honest with you. It's like top five, at least. It got to be, but... Bailey ended up winning the match, and uh, yeah, man, it was, it was fire. That's all I can say about it. <laughs> Next match of the night, cinema, 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 is what this match was. This might have been, like, I didn't know how they were gonna top night one, main event. They did it. Like, I feel like it was ten times better, bro. Cause, bro, 
this was like when Undertaker lost the streak. This was how that's that's how big the stakes were, pretty much. Like if Roman loses, that's like it is such it was such a big deal if Roman would lose this match. And like first I wanna say thank you, Roman. The whole WWE universe, we acknowledge you, bro. You are actually one of the greatest of all time. You might be on the Mount Rushmore of WWE at this point because this run was absolutely amazing and I enjoyed every second of it. Like, if it wasn't for Roman Reigns, who knows if I'd still be watching WWE right now. I literally stopped watching WWE for a couple of years. It's been a long time since I've watched WWE. And like during his title reign, when it was right when John Cena came back in like 2021 to go against him for the title. That is what brought me back to wrestling. And after that match, I was like, man, I gotta watch more of this. I gotta see what Roman does next. Cause he was looking for Roman Reigns. Like when he turned into the tribal chief. What do you mean by that? I mean, he was just like so good at his job, bro. He was so good. Like I just had to keep watching and see what, what else he was gonna do next. And all I want to say is thank you, Roman, bro, because you, you are actually one of my goats. So, but for Cody Rhodes, you know, congratulations to Cody Rhodes, bro. I mean, this match was so like it was so perfect, cause like all the crazy stuff that happened, all the people that came into this match, like. Like, it becoming the Avengers Endgame. Like, bro, everything about this match was so perfect. The only thing, like, I, I would do the change. Even even then, I was still satisfied. Like, I would change Undertaker for Stone Cold. But even both of them are still good. Because, like, I'm starting to realize everybody that was involved in that match was pretty much everyone that Roman Reigns beat. Like, he beat Undertaker at WrestleMania. He freaking beat John Cena. You know, he did beat him. Like... He beat him at SummerSlam, and then um, they freaking had Seth Rollins come out in Shield gear, the Shield theme song or whatever. And bro, I thought for a second John Moxley was gonna come out or Dean Ambrose, however you wanna say. It. And I was like, whoa, 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 this can't be, this can't be happening right now. But then it ended up just being Seth, and then, bro, like this part right here is what it got me. It's like Roman Reigns was thinking about it. He was like, should I hit Cody or should I hit Seth Rollins? And he ends up hitting Seth Rollins to get revenge after so many years. And I was like, bro, no. And then Cody Rose, he does his freaking crossroads. And I was like, no, it's over. But, bro, it was so good. Like, when John Cena came out, I was super hyped. He freaking did that attitude adjustment on Roman. That attitude adjustment on Solo on the freaking announce, like, announcement table or whatever on the Spanish one. And John Cena on the Rock do a face off, and then it took me back to like 2012 or 2013 or whatever when they fought, and I was like, oh my god, this is so hype. And then all you hear is the. And I was like, whoa, whoa, what is going on? And then I'll take your choke slams, and then boom, boom, da, 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 da. You know, everything else happens, and then one, two, three. Cody is the new WWE Undisputed Champion. And, bro, that match was so perfect, bro. Like, this is the greatest main event of all time in WrestleMania. The greatest, probably the greatest match ever in WWE. Like, the whole history. Like, this this, this match is really good. If you ain't watched this one, you gotta watch this one. All right? Because it was, it was freaking good, bro. Once again, I just want to say thank you to Roman. Because he really carried this company for, like, five Six, like, he carried it longer, but for as being the tribal chief, he carried it for four years, and that was, you know, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful title reign, bro. That's all I can say. No, it's the tribal chief. <laughs> that was it for night two. Um, Cody Rhodes wins, obviously, and that is it. You know what I'm saying? That was WrestleMania. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to this channel. Follow me on all my social media down below. Money Gang. We the best team in the league, and it's your boy Money. And I'm out. Peace out. Love y'all. This is E-Money in the building. <laughs>